the owners of the small Opal complained least of all about the engines. If you do not take into account the rare sports version of the Corsa OPC, then officially only cars with gasoline engines of 1.0, 70 horsepower, 1.2, 80 horsepower, and 1.4, 90 horsepower, leaders came to Russia. Their common and main drawback turned out to be sluggish cold starts or a complete loss of starter viability in cold weather. After waiting for a slight warming, the car came to life, as if nothing had happened. A leaking oil filler cap is almost a ubiquitous phenomenon. In order not to carry a special cloth with you all the time, the cork has to be changed. It is much worse when the engine starts to Detroit install on the go due to a failed ignition coil. This happens mainly due to low-quality fuel. So in Russia this phenomenon is also common, like in many other cars. Only in the case of Corsa, the entire module will have to be updated, since it is one for all cylinders. Much less often, the EGR sensor requires attention, which also fails due to bad gasoline. With a run of just over 100,000 kilometers, engines 1.2 and 1.4 may be asked to replace the chain, scaring the owner with a rattling diesel sound. On motor 1.2, periodically check the oil leakage through the pressure sensor in the lubrication system. A lot of heavy fuel vehicles came to Russia in a roundabout way. The 1.3-liter CDTI, 97 horsepower, despite our harsh conditions, showed its best side, however, it was noted by a pathological coolant leak from the connections of the pipes with the intercooler. Transmission In the choice of transmission Opel Corsa D gives considerable freedom. In this variety, perhaps, only the variator is missing. Three types of gearboxes were provided for the buyer, 5-speed manual transmission, 4-speed automatic and 5-band robot EasyTronic. Now guess which of the following is better to stay away from when choosing a used car. Although a lot has already been said about this in other sources, it will not be superfluous to recall that you need to be able to use robotic gearboxes. At the moment, they are too far from perfect, so for carefree operation, the owners of such a checkpoint have to think about the question. How does it work? In order for the robot to live up to the 100,000th run, you should use manual mode more often, slightly release the gas pedal when switching, do not stand at a traffic light with your foot on the brake, periodically carry out adaptation at an authorized dealer and, finally, abandon the aggressive style driving. In general, there are enough nuances. For a used car applicant, this option will be a real pig in a poke, so take a closer look at a manual transmission. She will not provide problems, and the clutch calmly departs 100,000 kilometers. If there is already a strong aversion to the trinity of pedals, then the usual automatic will be the best option. Among the problems encountered here, one can only note the sticking of the gearbox selector, which was eliminated by the manufacturer in 2008. Suspension The course's first suspension antics start quite early. By 30 to 40,000 kilometers, the thrust bearings of the struts may make noise. The bones of the stabilizer live about the same or a little more. The bushings of this assembly are much more durable. This is good, because the manufacturer provides for the possibility of replacing them only together with the entire torsion bar. Then comes a rather long period of suspension silence. However, then, 80 to 90,000 kilometers, it will be necessary to change the steering tips and shock absorbers, first the rear ones, then, after a couple of tens of thousands, the front ones. To the rear of the chassis, questions no longer arise, how can an elastic beam ruin life? Brake system. Breakdowns are also not friendly with brake mechanisms. The only disadvantage of the node is the life of the discs, which sometimes have to be changed along with the set of pads. The metal wears off very quickly. Body. When choosing a used Opel Corsa, pay attention to the joints of the rear bumper with the fenders. Perhaps there you will find swelling of paint or specks of rust. For a German baby, this phenomenon is a real illness, and for you it is a good reason to bargain. It will be possible to drop the price for the windshield if it is badly worn by the wipers. True, on cars younger than 2008 this anomaly can no longer be found, but all ages are submissive to the elements of mirrors falling off in the heat. If during the movement the reflection shakes and vibrates strongly, it means that you will soon have to use double-sided tape. As funny as it sounds, the makeup mirrors in the Corsa also occasionally fall out. The benefit of money for repairs, if you can call it that, is not much. With the peeling leather steering wheel, everything is more difficult. The wheel will either have to be rewound for a four-figure sum, or you will have to buy a braid. When inspecting the car, 
pay attention to the operation of the seat belt reels. The strap return mechanism is easily clogged with dust, requiring periodic cleaning and sometimes replacement. Electric. Corsa has the most likely problems with the electrician, despite the fact that the manufacturer managed to eliminate many bottlenecks. During the release of the model, the owners have compiled a decent list of systematic breakdowns. Most often, people complain about the burnout of the rear window heating filaments, light bulbs, and various kinds of malfunctions in the climate system. The last point includes the failure of the fan, as well as the temperature and airflow direction controllers. Much less often, Corsavity encountered glitches of the instrument panel. The arrow of the speedometer and tachometer could show exorbitant values of speed or revolutions on a stationary car. In this case, nothing but replacing the entire assembly comes to mind, however, there are craftsmen who have successfully soldered the missing contacts back to the board. Another childhood disease of Corsa is a breakdown of the radiator fan resistor. The part costs a little and changes easily with your own hands, the main thing in this case is not to overheat the engine. Thus, in terms of popularity and visual appeal, Corsa runs ahead of many competitors, but in terms of reliability and availability of service, albeit a little, but still lags behind the majority.